So next we'll look at graphing parabolas. This was lessons two to four, so we did this over several days, but by the end we learned that shortcut in order to graph any parabola. So just a reminder, to graph a parabola you must know really three things. The vertex of the parabola, if the parabola opens up or down, and the step pattern. Remember, the step pattern is 1a, 3a, as well as 5a, where you take the a value from the function and multiply it by these values. So let's just go through some examples. The first exercise, graph the following functions and summarize the properties in the given chart. So if we take a look at this, the parent function, all quadratic functions have fx is equal to x squared as our parent function. If we compare our parent to the given question, we see that there's one transformation that has been applied. That is a vertical translation, three units up. So we have this equation. We still need to find a way to graph it. The first thing we need to know is what is the vertex of this parabola? Remember the vertex, so I just want to do a quick review up here. If I give you the formula in vertex form, the vertex is just whatever this value is, your h. Remember you take the opposite. If it's negative, you put positive. If it's positive, you put negative. And whatever your k value is. The k value is left the same. If it's positive, it's positive. If it's negative, it's negative. So taking a look at this, the vertex, if we look at y is equal to x squared plus 3, we can rewrite that. We can rewrite that as fx is equal to x plus 0 squared plus 3. We can clearly see from this that our h value is 0, and our k value is 3. So the vertex is at 0, 3. Next, we have to determine if this parabola opens up or down. This is dependent on the sign in front of the x squared. Um, in this case, it's positive, so we know it's going to open up. And lastly, we need to determine the step pattern. So the step pattern is always 1a, 3a, and 5a. If we take a look at our equation, there is no a value, so we assume there is a 1. This is the same thing as saying 1 times 1, which is 1, 3 times 1, which is 3, and 5 times 1, which is 5. Using this information, we can now graph the parabola. So we start with the vertex. The vertex is at 0, 3. So that's the first point that we're going to put. We know it opens up, so we know all of our points will be in this region. And then the step pattern tells us how much we move up by. So we always move over one space, and based on the first part of the step pattern, we're going to move up one as well. Then we move over one space. The next number in the step pattern is three, so one, two, three, move up three spaces. The next step pattern, we move over one and move up five spaces, so one, two, three. There isn't enough space here, so I'm not going to show that particular step. Once you have these points, remember a parabola is just a mirror image, so we can find the mirror images of these points. Once you have a minimum of five points, remember you just have to connect the dots. Now you should be thinking to yourself, wait a second, Mr. T, I'm not going to get full marks for this, and you would be right. Don't forget to make uh, put your arrows at the end of your parabola as well. Let's take a look at the second question. So we have graph y is equal to x minus 5 squared plus 2. Once again, our parent function is fx is equal to x squared. And we see here that we've done really two changes or two transformations to this particular parabola. This is our h value, so we've done a horizontal translation, five units. Again, remember that 
it's the opposite, so the negative is really an indication of right. And we have a vertical translation. So again, the K value tells us we have a vertical translation two units up. Again, we're following the exact same three steps. We start with our vertex. So remember, our vertex is just our h value. Here it's negative 5, so again, we're taking the opposite, positive 5, and our k value, which is 2. The second thing is we determine if it opens up or down. Again, the sign in front of our bracket with our x and our squared is positive, so we know that it's going to open up. And again, we need to do the step pattern. So step pattern, there is no number uh, in front, or there is no written number in front of our bracket. We know that it's an imaginary one. So the A equals one in this case. So we have 1A, 3A, 5A, which equals 1, 3, 5, just like the previous question. So we'll start with our vertex. Again, our vertex is 5, 2. We know it's opening up, so our points are going to be in this vicinity, and we follow the step pattern. So the first step pattern is one, so we go over one and up one. The next step pattern, three, go over one, one, two, three, up three. And the last step pattern, five, we go over one and we go one, two, three, four. Again, there is no space on this grid, but we can generally approximate it somewhere along there. Once you have these points, again, mirror image. So we have this, this, and this. Once you have your points, you can just connect the dots. Again, my pen has died again, so I'm going to continue this in green, which is also a dying pen, but that is okay. okay. Obviously, that is not the best looking parabola, so if you do draw something like that, make sure it is nice and curved uh, when you have your final product. Taking a look at this particular question, we have y is equal to minus x plus 3 squared plus 2. Again, the parent function that we start with is f to the x. The transformation. So if we take a look here, we have one, two, three things that are happening. So with the negative, we know we have a reflection across the x-axis. With this positive three, we know that's a horizontal translation, three units left, and this positive two, a vertical translation, two units up. So based on this information, again, when you're trying to graph, you want three pieces of information. The vertex here. So if we take a look, our h value is a positive 3, so we take the opposite, negative 3, and we take the k value as is. Two, because we have a negative up front now, it's going to open down. And we have the step pattern. So again, there is no number in front of this bracket, so we imagine it's a 1. So the step pattern is 1a, 3a, 5a. Again, when we multiply these by 1, we get 1, 3, and 5. 
So let's start with the vertex. So the vertex is negative three, two. It's gonna open down so we know all our points are gonna be in this vicinity. And we have our step pattern. So as we go to the right one, we go down one this time because it's opening down. Then we go to the right one and down three. So one, two, three. And go over one, one, two, three, four, five. Again, you know this is a mirror image. So just plot the mirrored points down. I'm not going to make the same mistakes, so I've gotten a pencil this time to draw a better parabola. So don't forget to make sure that the parabola actually looks like a parabola. And again, don't forget the arrows at the end. The last example here, here we have all four transformations, so we'll make sure we practice this as well. So the parent function fx is equal to x squared. Sorry, I just realized I didn't put x squared here. So fx is equal to x squared. I want you to try describing these transformations yourself. I just want to quickly show you how to do the graphing portion. So again, the first thing you need is the vertex. So if we take a look at this vertex, we see that it's at four because we take the opposite. There is no K value, so we may know that that's just a zero. Second, it has a negative, so we know it is opening down. And then third is our step pattern. In this case, we do have an A value, it's two. So we do have to multiply one A, so A is two, so one times two is just two, three times two, six, five times two, 10. So this is the new step pattern we're going to use, but other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. We put our vertex in first, so four, zero, we know it's opening down, so all our points are in this vicinity, and follow the step pattern. So we go over one, but now we go down two because that's our new step pattern. So one, two. We go over one again, but we go down six. So go over one, one, two, three, four, five, six. The next one would be go over one, go down 10. There's clearly not enough space for that particular step. Once again, make sure you put in the mirror image. Once you have at least five points, again, connect your parabola. So if you did not remember any of this content, so the graphing portions, again, I, we, this is the homework I previously assigned. You don't have to do everything, just enough so that you're comfortable with the topic. 